Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my non-spoiler review of The Distant Hours by Kate Morton. And this is the last Kate, Kate Morton book that I needed to read on my shelf. And it's um, before her new one comes out, so I was really eager to pick this one up. So it follows a girl named Eddie who, um, one day, who's at her parents' house and her mother receives this letter that was supposed to be delivered in kind of the 1940s. Um, and it's delivered at that letter that was delivered kind of makes her mother very upset so Eddie is very much into mysteries and solving this so she's trying to figure out kind of what this letter was how it's connected to these sisters that lived in this castle um, and her mother and like how that ties in so she finds out that her mother was sent during the uh, bombing during World War II was sent to live with these three sisters in the countryside and kind of things that took place there their father was a very kind of esteemed author who wrote the um, the mystery of the mud man and that kind of have a role in there and there was a murder that took place a falling out between her mom and the sisters and all this stuff so she's trying to uncover that and I found that aspect to be really interesting and I really enjoyed the chapters that were told from Eddie's perspectives when she's kind of uncovering what's going on and so kind of in parallel to what Eddie is discovering we also get flashbacks from the sisters and also Eddie's mother as well kind of leading up to the uh, murder that took place and then the falling out and so um, I really enjoyed this book it was really unique it was very what with Kate Morton in particular her books are very vivid and you can picture everything in kind of the castle you can picture everything it's very a visual read which I enjoyed and despite this book's large size it's over 500 pages I flew through it I finished it in less than a week so that's saying a lot I could just sit and read her books forever but I really liked it there are some parts with the flashbacks that I didn't feel were very necessary and they didn't add to the plot um, which this is kind of one of her earliest novels so it's interesting to see how she's kind of improved from that that's my only complaint but I loved how each sister was so unique there's a set of twins and then Juniper who is kind of the wild one of the group who is very close with Eddie's mother and she kind of goes crazy after the murder took place and so Kind of the mystery aspect in here is what really really captivated me and really gripped me from the first page and kind of seeing looking back now there's like hints of what's going on and um, leading up to it and it's interesting to see kind of how i was kind of uncovering that with the character eddie as well she doesn't really tell you what you're kind of discovering it with the characters as well which i think is really unique um this is not my favorite kate morton book but does that that doesn't mean it's bad i gave it a 4.25 out of five stars it's still it's not as good as like the secret keeper and the forgotten garden which were my favorite but it's still a really good read so i recommend if you're trying to read a kate morton book start with this one or the house at riverton which is one of her earlier works and then kind of work up from there because her writing and her books get better and better so i'm really excited for her new book coming out in october um hence why i wanted to read this um read this before then so that i'd be all caught up with all her published works um but yeah, like I said, this one was really a lot of fun. I love the mystery aspect and kind of going, getting lost in this really unique world of the sisters within the castle and kind of the secrets within the walls, the secrets that are lost in the distant hours as one character says. So yeah, I highly recommend this book and this author. So yeah, let me know if you've read this book too or what's your favorite Kate Morton book. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!